time in Frisco Or was it L.A.? Well, anyhow, I needed money In a real bad way So I robbed a bank And I was cunning Five years ago And I haven't stopped running And all because I got the itch for scratch Station 65 to all units. Two officers have just been overpowered and killed at the International Airport while transferring bank robber Jack Martin. Martin is described as six foot two inches, 210 pounds. is believed to still have handcuffs on one wrist. This man is armed and extremely dangerous. Extradition papers and warrants for jewel theft, bank robbery, and homicide on file at Central Division. He could have been happy except for his wife. Her name was Money, she ruined his life, and all because I got the itch for a Desk? Yes, sir. I'll send the plumber up right away. How you making out? I'll be finished in a minute. Yeah, well, take your time. Uh, everything is fixed now. Great. It looks like somebody threw a telephone book down there. See the point? Why would anybody want to throw a telephone book down there? I don't know. Maybe they don't like the telephone company. And maybe they don't like the hotel. And when they don't like the hotel, sometimes they sabotage the plumbing. There's so many screwy people in the world. See? Oh, yeah. Yeah, I guess there are. But I don't care. I even get paid anyhow. <laughs> I don't work uh, peace work, you know. Personally, I don't care. They can throw a dead horse down the drain. I get paid anyhow. See the point? Yeah, I understand, sir. Well, uh, that's it. If you want to go in, go in. Everything is fine. Thanks a lot. So long.
Oh, uh, Mr. Jackson. Sorry to keep you waiting. Have a seat. Cigarette? Thanks. My secretary tells me you're interested in one of our offices. Uh, the one on the second floor interests me, but there are a couple of problems. Oh, uh, we'd be happy to decorate. No, it's a matter of security, Mr. Palmer. You see, being in the jewelry business, my insurance company would insist upon much stronger locks, and if possible, some sort of a burglar alarm. I thought maybe you could extend the bank system to cover the office. I'm afraid that's a popular fallacy, uh, Mr. Jackson. Banks rely on vaults, not on alarm systems. With our cash in the vault, there's nothing you can steal but the desks, and even those are fixed to the floor. I see what you mean. Well, let me give it some thought. I'll let you know in a couple of days. Let me have police headquarters, please. Oh, no, no, it's not emergency. Hello. Hello, Sergeant. Uh, my name is McGuire, James McGuire, and I'm from the Five Star Film Company. Uh, we're shooting a picture in town, as you know, and uh, our next scene is at the U.S. National Bank. It's a bank hold-up scene. Oh, yes, of course. We have permission from Mr. Palmer and the commissioner's office. I assumed you knew all about it. Yes, well, could you send a couple of officers down to the bank tomorrow morning at 7.30? That's when we start rehearsing. Uh, thank you very much, sir. Good morning. The police department? Yes. Yes, yes, this is Palmer. Huh? Broken into the bank. I'll be right down. Oh, good Lord. Now, for this rehearsal, boys, Mr. Palmer will be driving down here in a little while. He'll get out of his car very excited and say, what happened? You say, inside, sir. OK. Oh, Mr. Palmer's going to be in the picture, eh? Oh, yeah. He's a frustrated actor. That's how we got permission to use the bank. He wants to act real bad. Is that right? Yeah. I didn't know that. You know, this guy takes it real seriously. Don't forget, you boys stay outside. When he drives up, he gets out and says, what happened? You say, inside, sir. Good. Okay? All right. What happened? Inside, sir. Hello, Mr. Palmer. Mr. Jackson, what is this? Stick up, Mr. Palmer. Just have a seat and we'll wait for the ball to open at 8 o'clock. What is this, uh, some kind of a joke? Are you out of your mind? Have you gone crazy?
Okay. Let's go. Come on, open it up. You'll never get away with this. You'll never get away with this. We have the serial number on every bill in. <coughs> Locked him in a vault. That's what it says in the script. I don't know how he's going to get out of that. I'll see you later, boys. I'm going to have to talk to the director. This thing is getting out of hand. What's new? Still looking for that bank robber. Chief thinks he's the same guy who pulled that getaway at the airport yesterday. Bet he's tied in with that Dawson outfit. Lucky him. If Dawson's behind him, you won't find any evidence. Sit down. How much am I paying you, Adolph? Why, I get six bills a week and a bonus. Have you been earning it? You're kidding. The operation's going like silk. Is it? Who's responsible for the bank job? This job wasn't pulled by any of our men. But it was pulled in my territory. I'm getting the blame without any cut. So he's a loner. It's happened before. But not in my area. Go out and find him. Yeah, well, here I am back again. Yeah, I'm playing it for show and they're winning. Just missed the first race. You're not here to watch the races. Now split up, and you take the other end. Okay. Have you seen him in 
inside the stands? I can't figure out where he'd be in this crowd. That guy's too big. Maybe. Let's get Adolf. He's seen us. Let's get him. Anyhow. No luck. Let's keep trying. Excuse me, miss. Uh, do you have a match? There's no smoking in the public library. I'm sorry. Oh. Excuse me. A public library, you say? Would you mind keeping your voice down? Oh, sorry. Uh, do you have any books here? Well... Well, what sort of books do you have? 
What book do you want? Uh, I don't know. Uh, something interesting, I guess. What do you find interesting? You mean in the way of books? Yes, in the way of books. They have all kinds of books here. Uh, what do you find interesting? Didn't we just have this conversation? I guess so. Well, we have fiction, non-fiction, sports, science, biology, astrology, agriculture, photography, law, gardening, history, poetry, religion, music, cooking, psychiatry. Uh, gardening. Well, uh, we have an excellent book on practical gardening by, uh, Mary Papa Lewis in the Elf. Mary Hopper Lewis. Oh, I, uh, I don't particularly care for her style of writing. Uh, anybody else? Well, there are many books on the subject. Excuse me. How are you today, Joni? Oh, just fine, Miss Logan. Thank you. I don't think you're really interested in gardening. It's a very good observation. It also happens to be true. Well, as a matter of fact, you see, I just came in here for a rest. But, uh, I've been doing a lot of traveling. You're only passing through? Yes, I'm on my way to uh, Mexicali. Is that your home? No. No. I don't stay long enough in any one place to call it a home. I just stop, wash my socks, do a little work, and then move on. What do you do? About what? Work. Oh, uh, I'm a bank robber. What else? I do some odd jobs here and there. Well, uh, if you're looking for a job, uh, I can give you one. Well, I, I wouldn't be of much use to you here. I mean... I didn't mean here. Uh, I have a citrus grove. Your citrus grove? My citrus grove. It was left to me. I have some hands running it, but I can always use an extra one, especially during irrigating. Okay. Where do I go? Go straight down the road until you see the third signal light. Then turn to the left. Can't miss it. Speak to Mr. Harris. He'll set you up. Mr. Harris, thank you very much. See you later. Let's try this place. my prophet. forget about my work if you forget yours. It's 
very beautiful here. Yes, it is. I've never seen anything like it. It's so clean, really clean and quiet. You sound as though you've never been on a beach before. Yes, I have. There was that beach in Normandy, and then a beach on Coney Island. They both had rocks and sand and water. The only thing was that one smelled of gunfire and the other of garbage. Are those the only beaches you've ever been on? Yes. Is this the only kind you've ever been on? Yes, except in books. You spend too much time in books. It's safe. It's safe. It's safe in jail, too. You sound angry. You sound cautious. I have reason to be. What kind of sandwich would you like? The one without the sand in it. What do you mean, you have reason to be cautious? In books, your friends don't leave you. You say I sounded angry? I wanted to do that. First time I saw you in the library, and you knew it. I knew it. I couldn't understand why you didn't. Because we were in the library. There's only one rule in the library. What's that? No talking. What's the rule on the beach? No talking. Pardon us, Mac. We're from the FBI. We were wondering if you ever saw this fellow around here before. No. Sure, take another look. Don't recognize him? Don't think so. Okay, thanks. Good afternoon, sir. We wanted to ask you a few questions. We're from the FBI. Oh? We were wondering if you ever saw this fellow around here before. I think so. Oh, you have? Whereabouts did you see him? He's working on a small ranch about six miles out. Well, thank you. Thank you very much. Here, I made some pizza. There goes my lunch hour. See anything? Any sight of them? Let me try them. Look, halfway up that row, above the corral, and a little to the right. He's digging post holes. Yeah? That's what you think. Come on, let's go. Hello, Earl. Well, what's new, Adolf? I, uh... Got a lead on the fellow who pulled the bank job. Hey, that's great. What's he doing with the money? He switched the loot at the Trotters. Probably played the favorites to show. <laughs> He's living on a citrus ranch down in Capistrano. Yeah? What's the attraction? Blonde, 25. Wears glasses. Is he showing the money? No, he bought a couple of suits. Nothing fancy. He's working down there. Ranch hand. Has the law been sniffing around? I checked downtown with our boys in the police records. His jacket hasn't been pulled in over uh, two weeks. Now, that's local stuff. The bank job put him in federal class. Don't sell him short, Adolf. They can go the same route. Just get him pulled in right away.
drop the tool. Keep your hands down. Face the house. You know the routine. He's clean. Turn around. Okay, let's go. Make it snappy. We've got a cell warm for you. You know what we want. What did you do with the loot? I blew the money in Vegas. Don't be a hero and don't pull any wise stuff. You're not gonna get a Purple Heart here. Talk and talk fast or we'll kick you. Why do you... <laughs> Maybe we should have taken him straight to the boss. Relax. He'll talk. Use your head, Johnny. We can't waste all night with this guy. In the condition he's in, we'll have a lot of explaining. Don't worry about it. We better get going. The boss will get suspicious. Let's clean him up. You big jerk. Sort of trouble. They grumble. One driver quit and the other's got a gut ache. Pick me up in ten minutes. When are you gonna learn how to handle simple jobs without waking me up in the middle of the night? Tell him to bring him right back? Yeah, but I couldn't help it. What happened? Well, he tried to get roughed, so we worked him over. He grabbed my rod, and I got nicked. When he ducked, I got to a phone and called the boys. Uh-huh. That's all? Sure, that's all. You weren't trying to get him to talk? About money? No. All I wanted to do was find out for you if, uh... Hey, Dolph, how long has he been with us? About two years. Uh -huh. Then he should know better than to cut in on his own. You don't understand. Boss, wait a minute. Wait a minute, boss. No, you don't understand. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Oh. Clean up this mess. Don't leave any traces. I'll pick up this gangster myself. Oh, uh, were either of them married? 
Yeah, Johnny was. Mm -hmm. I'll send the widow a thousand... Don't what? Make it five hundred. Could have used you in Korea and France. You make a pretty good medic. You're not going to operate, are you? Do you mind getting me a cigarette, please? Thanks. You see, I got mixed up in some trouble. I know. I'll get you some coffee. The car is on the other side of the house. You said you know. What do you mean? Your photograph is at the post office. It's not a very good one. Why didn't you call the police? What have the police got to do with us? Get some sleep now. Who is it? Relax, Martin. I'm not the law. Who are you? What do you want? My name's Dawson, and I want to talk business with you. Proceed. Thanks. You like a cigar? No, thanks. I suppose you realize, Mr. Martin, that two of my men are dead on account of you. I told them I blew the money in Vegas. I wasn't interested in your money. But then? Your talents. I want you to join my organization. What do you want me for? With the resources I could put at your disposal. Influence, equipment, manpower, information. You should be in a position to start a tremendous operation. I'll tell you the truth, Mr. Dawson. I've had enough. I think I'll hang around the ranch for a while and relax. Uh -huh. But what happens when the money you blew in Vegas runs out? Or when your impulse for excitement rises to the surface. Or when you become, shall we say, a little weary of Miss Logan's affection. Let's forget about the girl, okay? If I need any money or any action, I'll give you a ring. Unfortunately, I can't wait that long. My plans call for your special talents in the immediate future. You'll have to make up your mind now, tonight. There's something else you should take into consideration. Two things, in fact. What are they? First of all, money-wise. You will get 20% of all your jobs. 20%? I get 100% when I work alone. Well, you should net on your first job 30 or perhaps even something like uh, 35,000. That's just a starter. The big one I have in mind for you should net at least $80,000. Fair enough? 
What kind of a job is this? You will know when the time comes. You mentioned two things. How about the other one? Protection. You're wanted for murder, Mr. Martin. As a member of my organization, you will never be touched. Never. You could sleep at night with your door open. And you could take your money and deposit it in the same bank you took it from. Could you get a better offer than that, Mr. Martin? Well? When do I start? Right now. The first address is your apartment in Los Angeles. It's furnished and paid for. You knew all along I'd accept your offer. You didn't have much of a choice, did you, Mr. Martin? The second address is my office. Uh, meet me there tomorrow morning at 10. If anyone attempts to pick you up, don't offer any resistance. And here's another thing. If these impulses start, just reach for a phone instead of a gun, huh? You'll be out on bail in 10 minutes. Good night, Mr. Martin. Good night, Mr. Dawson. I'm going with you. Meadowlark Country Club drawn to scale. The office vault will carry a half million dollars in currency. Are you serious? This is the entrance, the roadway, the restaurant, and most important of all, the building where they keep the money. On this particular weekend, the well away championship fight is on Friday. The Derby is being run on Saturday, and there are eight double headers being played on Saturday and Sunday. Now, the Gordon Bookmaking Syndicate operates out of this country club, and they'll have the dough in the safe for the Monday payoff. You mean to say that the bookies actually keep their money in that safe? Right. Well, we get some fresh air, and we leave with the bookies' money. Don't make it sound so simple. They have lots of protection. It's going to take a nice bit of coordination and guts. There's only one way to do this, Earl. Let me tell you what I think. And they have a 24-hour special armed guard. That's no problem. How about the vault? Simple. How many men do you figure for this job? 40 tops. Too many. I'll need about uh, five. Okay, you've got them. When do we go to work? A week from Saturday. Very nice. I'll get busy on it right away. Let's play some pinochle, huh, Rudy? 400 or 300? 300 is a better game. You play pinochle, don't you, Norman? Yeah, I play a little. Only nickel and dime stuff. On what you guys pay me, that's all I can afford. Nobody's looking to get rich off you. Come on, deal.
we play for an hour and two until the derby. Then we get the Dodgers game. All right, it's combed. Your hair is combed. Come on, deal. Those Dodgers blow that game today, we go for a package. All the betters got the Giants. Maybe they know something. What can they know? This ain't basket. Everything is in the open. Everything but what goes on in pitcher's mind. Oh, the whole game is psychiatrical, huh, Norman? Boy, you should have been a psychologist instead of a special. Them Dodger pitchers is worrying about that screen. They ought to ship them right back to Brooklyn. Oh, I'm telling you. I wish you'd make a bid. Your philosophy has sure given me the cramps. 450. I hope we have better luck the rest of the day. Pardon me, I'm from the Stevens Furniture Company. We've got your table and chairs for the lounge. Can you tell me where it is? You guys do around here? Oh, yeah, yeah. What happened to the other guys? Oh, didn't you hear? They were partners on a sweepstake ticket that hit. They all quit together. It's a good thing we don't book the sweepstakes, huh, Rudy? Ha, ha, ha! Straight down the road, 100 yards to the left. It's on the right of the dining room, the last building. Down here, huh? OK, thanks a lot. Hey, buddy, would you come over here for a minute and take a look at this? Yeah. Anything to speed this up. Now, look at the screen here. You see the way this mound slants? You see, it, uh, there isn't a, uh, a straight path. Look, there's a heavy tuft of grass here. Do you think the grass is too bumpy here? <laughs> Okay, let's go. Get that hand truck rolling. Hey, there's a guy laying out there on the 18th green. I think he's dead or something. Oh, no. <laughs> Thank you. 
I got 20 bucks in that safe. Huh? Yeah, I bet on the Dodgers doubleheader to Still breathing? Uh, probably just his first hole in one. Let's get this guy inside. Something's fishy here. Nothing messed up? Boys, I think the safe is missing. Police department. Can you give me their description? Okay, thanks. Station four, all units, 211 of Metal Art Country Club. Car 16. 10 4. Personnel. Washington now lists Jack Martin as among the ten most wanted men. All these are canceled. Well, we have a stakeout here on Bell Road. Sergeant Gary is checking a witness here on Clinton Street, and Vic is following up an abandoned ambulance report on the edge of town.
matter? Aren't you eating? No, I'm not hungry. What's the matter? Don't you feel well? Jack, I'm going home. I'm all packed. What do you mean? Why? I can't continue this way any longer. I don't understand. Why the switch all of a sudden? I fell in love with you all of a sudden. I went with you all of a sudden. Now I'm leaving you all of a sudden. People do think and change all of a sudden. Most of them take a longer time to act, that's all. I don't want you to leave. I must. But you knew this. In words, yes. But I didn't know what it was really like. And I didn't think it had to touch us both so constantly. I still thought we'd have something together. We do. No, we don't. You kill people and I know it. You don't turn into someone else when you get here. You're the same man that has killed someone and I can't forget it. I can't change you. I know better than that. You can't change me, so I'm leaving. Suppose I change. Suppose I quit right now. Will you stay? I don't think you can. I can quit any time I want to. Now's as good a time as any. I've got enough money to last us for a long time. We go across the border and we're set. I'll go to Dawson right now and tell him I quit. A clean break. Look, you... can't walk out of me now. I... I need you. I love you and I need you. You never said that before, and now you have. Go, darling. Go to Dawson. Now, and I'll pack for both of us. You're out of your mind, Jack. That's the way I want it, Earl. Of course it's your money. You can do what you want with it. But it's hot, Jack. I'll get rid of it in Mexico. And you're hot, too. Don't you think Jordan will get the connection between this job and the others? What happened to all your influence? Play it safe. Stick with us for a while, at least. Give things a chance to cool off. He's right, Jack. When I want your opinion, I'll ask for it. Okay. I'll tell you what I'll do, Jack. I'm going to raise the stakes. Your share will be the same as mine. From now on, we're partners. That's a great proposition, Earl. I just can't take it. All right. If this is the way you want it. Bye, Earl. Goodbye, kid. Good luck. Get me the FBI on the phone. I want to talk to Jordan. What? You think I'm going to let him walk out of this organization? Don't be stupid. He knows too much about it. He knows every detail about the whole setup. He can't come in here and walk out with a bundle and then quit. If I let him get away with this, I might as well pack up and get out of business. How about letting our boys take care of him? No. I can't afford to waste any more men. Let the FBI take the glory. But Earl, this fellow... I'll call him. That's right, Mark. Never mind who this is. Okay, here's a tip off. All units in Southern Division converge on Apartment House at 932 Irvine Street and wait for Captain Jordan. Be on alert for armed suspect Jack Martin, wanted for murder. Hello? Who? 
Don't waste a single minute, Jack. You want to level it off? Beat it on down to Mexico right away. Thanks a lot. Oh, wait, Alf. Uh, why, uh, why are you doing this? Carol, you through packing? Let's go. this. Meet me across the border. I have some business with Dawson. Thank you, Mr. Dawson. We'll be right over. Hey, hey, Jack. Jack. What? What happened? What's the matter, kid? Did you forget something? I thought you'd be halfway to the border by now. <laughs> anyway, I... I'm glad you're here. I was just saying to Adolf about a terrific idea I had that if you change your plans... Now here, I want to show you something. Keep away from there. Jack, what's eating you? I'm telling you, I've got a terrific plan for you. You're a great planner, Dawson, only it's not gonna work this time. What are you talking about? I'm talking about double-crossing friends. What? I take care of my boys on the field, Earl. They appreciate that. What are you driving at? You do a man a favor, you save his life, he generally returns it. Adolf was very prompt this time in returning the favor. Adolf is a liar. How did you know what I was going to say, Earl? Jack. <laughs> I'll tell you. I'll tell you the whole thing. Look, it's a gag. I was talking to Adolf, and I said, we'll rig it this way, so that when Jack comes back... It was strictly for laughs. It was only a gag. But I'll tell you what I'll do. Open up. Jack Martin was killed in a running gun battle with agents of the Federal Bureau of...